Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you because you could be anywhere in the world and you decided to be here with me right now. Let's jump right into it. Today we are talking about leverage trading, how to trade with leverage, and uh, basically how to use BitMEX to trade with the leverage. What we use to trade with leverage is BitMEX. Um, so we're going to go over it um, and, and uh, we've been getting this question a lot. So we definitely want to dive into it and um, and get you guys on the on this on the same page and on the right path to being able to trade with leverage, because trading with leverage you can definitely make a lot more profits, but you got to be able to trade right. You got to know what you're doing. If not, it is not recommended for you. All right. Um, so let's jump right into it, guys. Um, let me switch the cam over boom put me on that top corner there we go perfect all right guys so how to trade with leverage on bitmex all right so first of all what is leverage trading sometimes it is referred to as margin trading leverage trading involves borrowing funds to amplify potential returns when buying and selling cryptocurrency when you leverage trade you can access increased buying power and may open positions that are much larger than your actual than your actual account balance all right so basically um you get you get you get to borrow money from the exchange from the broker to have more buying power and you don't have to risk put up all that money up front in order to buy more than you have you know what I mean um, and I'll give you guys some examples for example if you have an account balance of five bitcoins and you want to place a trade leverage uh, with the leverage of 10 to 1 you can open up a position worth 50 Bitcoin this means that if the market moves in your favor you'll be able to access 10 times the profits however it also affects it also has the effect of magnifying losses when the market moves against you so it's gonna affect you in in both uh, both ways you know whether if it, if it goes with you it's favorable for you then it's you're gonna gain you know if you have if you're using 10 leverage and the market moves one percent then you're gonna gain ten percent so you're getting ten times every percentage that it moves right so if you're using 10x leverage it's ten times whatever the, the market moves so if it moves one percent you make ten percent profit if it moves two percent you make twenty percent profit but it works the same exact way on you know if you're losing if the market moves against you when it goes down one percent you lose ten percent profit if it goes down two percent you lose twenty percent profit so everything is scaled up to ten times whatever the market's doing all right um let me there we go um let me see margin trading is risky speculate speculative and complicated so it's not suited to beginners and it's best left to experienced traders so that's that's you know what we talked about um, you you definitely if you're a beginner you're just starting you don't want to do this especially on your own if even if you're following someone um, like I have people that are new and they're beginners and they try to follow me it's hard if you're a beginner you really got to put your time in um, before you begin margin trading so I definitely uh, if you do do it I definitely recommend using very very little margin like 2x no more than that all right so um, let's jump into the next slide here how does it work so when you open a position a portion of your account balance is held as collateral for the funds you borrow from the exchange if your trade is successful and you close the position at a profit your collateral is returned to you along with those profits minus any fees so that's another thing when you're when you're trading on margin you do get charged fees per trade um, you have to check you know on your exchange all the fees are always different however um, if the market moves against you and you're in and you're in loss your trade will automatically be closed and your collateral liquidated when the mark when the market reaches a certain price this is known as the liquidation price so you always need to know your liquidation price the more leverage you use in a trade the smaller the quicker you can hit that liquidation price because the smaller room you have 
to wiggle so that's why we never recommend more than 10x uh, leverage at a time um, that's you that's usually where we're at I think once you can you can make a case for 25x but you once you get to 25x you're on the right on the line of gambling and anything beyond 25x you're just gambling there's there's nothing cool about uh, trading with a hundred X margin a um, hundred X leverage that's just stupid it's it's uh, you can't sustain that it's just not possible um, the exchange is against you and all odds are against you um, just a, a very very small move against you you get liquidated and you don't want to you don't want to be in that position trust me trust me it's happened to me um, so I've learned it hard way I recommend you guys to listen to me this is from experience um, do not go beyond 10x if you're a beginner you shouldn't even go beyond 5x you should just be around 2x honestly um, yeah you don't want to get liquidated either way you always want to have uh, and I'll show you guys um, your, it always shows you your liquidation price um, before you even enter your trade so you'll know where it's at and then oh you should always be using a stop loss regardless so your liquidation price should never be hit if you're trading properly all right let's jump to the next one how to leverage trade on bitmex so while bitmex offers several cryptocurrencies to trade all profits and losses are settled in bitcoin which bitmex refers to as xbt um instead of the more often seen btc so bitmex uses the, the words uh, instead of you know BTC meaning Bitcoin bitmex uses XBT but it's the same thing it's Bitcoin it they just use their own things called XBT so don't get confused by that as a result users must deposit and withdraw funds in Bitcoin rather than dollars even though dollars are what the platforms cryptocurrencies are traded against so when you're trading in bitmex all all your trades are traded against US dollars um, but you can only enter trades through Bitcoin so you can only withdraw as Bitcoin um, you can fund your deposit and make fund your account through Bitcoin that's it so you can't you have anything else and you can't use US dollars all right um, and it does offer several uh, cryptocurrencies as well other than Bitcoin to trade um, and we'll, we'll jump we'll get into that so you guys can see uh, what those are as well all right so how to leverage trade on bitmex step one register for a bitmex account simple enough right um, you just go to bitmex.com go to register enter information and boom that's it you're done now to note bitmex's terms and conditions state that u.s residents and citizens aren't allowed to access its services or platform now there is there are ways around this but just know that if you're in the US if you're a US resident or citizen you're not allowed um, to access it and if you're caught accessing it from a US uh, you know IP address or whatever um, basically they give you about seven days I believe um, to move your funds out of your account so if you're caught accessing it they, you, they don't just close your account and you know take your money they give you seven days to move the funds out of your account and then they close your account um, if you have questions that of that if you are a US resident I would say send me a DM and we can talk in private but as far as Bitmex's terms and conditions state US residents and citizens aren't allowed to access its services or platform. All right, guys. Also, another thing: when you're registering for Bitmex, um, in if in the uh, in the description we have a link for Bitmex. Okay, it's a referral link. Um, what what happens if you use it? You get a discount on your fees for six months. Okay. So if you use our link, you get a discount on, on referral fees for six months. Um, we do, we do uh, make money off of um, trading fees. I guess, I guess what they discount you from, we make money off of that. Um, so if you guys want to help us or support us, 
you know you can use our link we'd appreciate it if not you don't have to use our link that's up to you it's not gonna uh, make or break us you know what I mean um, step two deposit funds into your account simple enough right so click on the account tab at the top of the screen to be taken to your wallet click the green deposit button and scan the QR code or copy your wallet address you can then use that address to deposit Bitcoin into your BitMEX account so you hit you hit your the account tab on the top um, you're gonna hit deposit right so you, this right here and then you're gonna copy the wallet address or you know scan it and that's basically it you just send it over simple enough um, step three navigate to the trading screen click the trade link at the top of the screen and you'll be taking you'll be taken ah you'll be taken to the trading screen where you can click the tab of the crypto you want to buy or sell Bitcoin Cardano Bitcoin cash ether Litecoin ripple there's also Tron and um, and some other I believe so these right here you just click which one you want to trade boom and that's it you're done you and then you well not you're done but then you can see their charts you can see how the prices you can see all that and then that's how you trade it um, real quick we're gonna stop right here at step three to do the question of the day guys so let's jump which which where were we right here all right we're right here so I don't forget question of the day guys remember uh, you can win a free month a free month membership to our trade room uh, by answering the question of the day okay every video we will have a random question about something in the video the question will always be in a random area of the video find a question then find the answer post your answer in the comments for a chance to win a free month's membership to our trading room winners are picked randomly once the video receives over 30 likes um, good luck so guys we need to hit the 30 likes if we can't hit over 30 likes we don't do the giveaway make sure everyone that's leaving comments to also like the video and also follow us you have to be following us all right um, the question of the day is if your entry price is 11,670 and you use 10x leverage price goes up 5% what is your profit so your entry price was eleven thousand six hundred and seventy dollars you entered there using 10x leverage the price from then from eleven thousand six hundred and seventy went up five percent what's your profit all right so that is a question of the day let's jump right back into this all right we already finished with this let's move on to step four step four is enter the details of your position this is very very important guys a lot of people mess up with this especially when it comes to leverage so first let's let's talk about the position in the order box this is your order box right over here guys the order box is to your left hand side this is it you have your limit your market your stop market and you can change this to stop limit as well um, you can also change it to a trail stop um, here is the quantity is where you enter the price um, the buy market sell market etc um, select the type of order you want to place for this example we'll be using a market order so market order is this right here that means that um, your the price is filled at whatever the best current price is in the market all right so that's what that means um, enter the quantity of your trade that is the amount you want to buy or sell in US dollars so um, here it's actually different um, it's supposed to be number of contracts so you decide how many contracts you want to you want to buy or sell um, and you can see the value of it here in the cost cost your order value so the cost and order value are the two things you're looking at the cost is what it's actually costing you from your balance okay the order value is what you're getting with whatever leverage you use um, step five set your leverage um, use the slider below the order box 
to set the desired le level of leverage for your position. In this example, our leverage is set to 5x, okay? This is, so let, let's, if we go back, let me see, can I go back? Yep, so this is your order box, right? After you set up your order box and you're, you're ready to go with your order, then you're gonna come down here. You wanna make sure this is open, hit that, come down here and you're gonna use your leverage. This is your leverage right here. So you have to pick how much leverage you want to use. Like I said, I recommend never more than 10. Um, if you're a beginner, you shouldn't be doing more than two. So you can work your way up as you, f you learn how to do this. Um, and once you're very comfortable is when you should be at 10. Before that, you should never even be before more than 5x. All right. Um, so this is it right here. Be careful when adjusting leverage you do not want to click a wrong one by mistake and get liquidated instantly trust me it's happened to me it's happened to a lot of people be very very careful guys step six review the details of your transaction take a moment to review the full details of your transaction the quantity field shows the value of your position but because you're trading with leverage, the money you're putting at risk is less than this. The cost field details the maximum amount you can lose on the position if the market moves against you. Order value shows the value of your position in XBT. So this is like I was telling you, your cost here, this is what you're actually risking out of your own pocket, right? So this is, um, if you get liquidated completely, this is what you lose, right? That's why we don't want to get liquidated. Whatever you're liquidated for, this is the cost here, okay? This is what's your collateral, basically. This is what you have to focus on. Um, then, depending on the leverage you use is what the order value is going to be. So the order value will change depending on that, all right? Step seven, open your position. If you think the price will rise and you're going long, click on buy market. If you're shorting because you think the market will fall, click on sell market. An order confirmation screen will appear and contains information such as the level of leverage, order value, cost, and the estimated liquidation price. Review all details carefully before clicking on buy or sell to confirm your order. All right, so I'll, I'll do uh, an example of, of an order so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about here, all right? Um, going long with 10X leverage. Note, while your profit can exceed 100%, losses are limited to 100% of the margin requirement. All right, so you can make more profit than 100%, but obviously you're not gonna lose more than 100% of whatever your cost was. Um, so here's just a, a different profit scenarios. Um, entry, if your entry price is 11,670, you're using 10x leverage. Your margin is 1,167. Um, liquidation price is 10,503. And then here's what can happen, you know, with a price change. So a 5% gain for this price would end up at 12,254, which would profit you. Uh, five hundred eighty-four dollars, or fifty percent profit. So five percent. Remember, because we're using ten x leverage, five percent equals fifty percent profit. Ten percent equals a hundred percent profit, and so forth. Um, and then the same thing on if you're losing. If you're losing, if you lose five percent. You actually lose fifty percent of your cost. So whatever it is you're risking. All right. So let's jump into the Bitmex real quick. And as you can see here, like I was telling you guys, um, if we go to here to um, to quantity, so we're putting here whatever amount you know um, we want in in USD, but you're not actually paying that full amount. So depending on um, how much leverage you're using is what the cost is going to be. So here we have it set at 10x. So for $2,000, if we put 2,000, we're actually only using 0 0.0180, which is the equivalent of about $200 and so forth. 
um, so you'll see your order value is this right here but your cost is this right here and you'll see if I change this so if I change it to 5x you see that your cost is a little bit more expensive because now you're only using 5x you know what I mean so you have to put a little bit more money in so if you're using 2x you do have to put more money in um, that's because you're using less leverage so if you're using less leverage you're borrowing less money so you have to put more of your own money in all right I hope that makes sense so even though 10x you you have to risk less of your own money you can get liquidated a lot easier versus 5x you have to put more of your own money in but you're liquidated it's it's more rare for you to get liquidated all right um, so let's let's go through the process of buying so let's say we're doing a, a market order for 2000 right we want to buy 2000 USD worth of Bitcoin worth of our position so we're gonna pay 200 for that so 200 times 10 equals 2000 right $200 times 10x which is the leverage we're using equals $2,000 so we're only risking $200 but we have control of $2,000 once we hit buy you know we've reviewed our trade we know what our cost is we know what our leverage is now we hit buy boom and it brings the confirm your order screen so it says buy 2,000 contracts of XBT, XBT USD at market so remember market it's a market order um, the position will be opened in isolated margin mode isolated margin will use your selected margin preference which is 10x that's what we chose this will limit your loss watch your liquidation price carefully so the order value remember we spoke about this is the total which is two thousand dollars USD um, the cost at 10x leverage is only two hundred dollars USD the available balance this is what you have available so obviously we don't have enough um, to cover this so we wouldn't be able to, to enter this trade position size after execution so 2000 is what we're buying uh, mark price so mark price is the price that um, you know it's currently at um, estimated liquidation price so your estimated liquidation price this is where your entire position which is this your entire cost would be liquidated Bitcoin we need to fall from the mark price of 11,305 down to 10,261 for you to get completely liquidated of your $200 now we are using stop losses of course so we don't have to worry about that drop like that uh, but if you don't use a stop loss that's where you will be liquidated um, so in order for the price to fall to for us to get liquidated the price will have to fall 9.25 percent or a thousand and forty six dollars all right once you're ready you hit buy obviously we can't because we don't have that amount available in this in this account and but that's that's it that's the whole process to um, trading with leverage so I hope you guys um, I know that was a lot I hope you guys were able to keep up and understood exactly you know what we we're saying what um every all the information we gave you guys i i definitely recommend you guys to go over the video again and write it down and and make a trade yourself um while you watch the video and watch us do it um if you have any other questions just drop it in our comments and we're always happy to answer them if there's anything you're confused about um or anything like that um and that's basically it guys make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow us please it really helps us um, we're trying to build this channel up we're doing we're giving all this information for free to you guys um, we're just gonna continue to provide you guys value we've dropped five videos a week for the past three weeks um, and I'm sure you guys want us to keep doing this so um, so that's how you show us you know uh, your support and that'll keep us going to continue making videos um, you know every single week uh, giving you guys knowledge giving you guys breakdowns giving you guys an insight to our how we analyze markets and how we're trading um, make sure to leave enter if you want to enter the contest 
uh, just leave a comment below with the question with the answer to the question a day follow us and like the video and uh, as a bonus if you share it that'll help us a, a, a ton so we really appreciate it guys thank you for being with us today i am bitcoin j we are bitcoin daily and we are out peace